So I know we're all here to talk about campus, but I want to see who has heard about Google for Entrepreneurs? Anyone? Anyone? Okay, well, that's the team I'm on and the team that's behind campus. So I wanted to take a little time to tell you about Google for Entrepreneurs first, and then we'll dive into campus, so bear with me. Um, who here has heard of Google Campus Warsaw? Ah, 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 okay, a few. That's good. Yeah, you've heard of it? <laughs> a little bit, okay. So some of you may have heard this spiel before, so apologies if you're bored by what I'm saying, because I have talked to a few of you. And that's why I'm here to kind of talk to the ecosystem. <laughs> and talk to you guys and hear what's going on in campus, who's doing what, what are the gaps, I mean, what's going on in Warsaw, who's doing what, what are the gaps, and how can Google Campus really come in and support the community, which is you guys. So thanks for coming. Um, campus coming soon to Warsaw. We're all really excited. And so just kind of go through our team really quickly, our vision, our mission, we look for and create spaces for entrepreneurs. Some of the programs we focus on and how we really think inclusive communities is important for the startup ecosystem. So on our roots, Google um, started in a garage, so I think entrepreneurship is kind of in our DNA. For Google for Entrepreneurs, our mission is to build startup communities and really create spaces for entrepreneurs to learn and work. So through our programs, through our partners, um, and through some of our spaces, we've had a really great impact in the past few years. And here are some stats. We've reached over 11,000 entrepreneurs, over 2,000 jobs created, and really excited to work with partners in Warsaw to up those numbers for 2014, 2015. So going on to spaces, we work with 25 um, tech hub spaces around the world, and they're all partner-led. And then we have two spaces that we run ourselves right now, Campus London and Campus Tel Aviv, and we're bringing on four new spaces in 2015 that'll be Google-led. Um, and so our tech hub partners, you can see, they're all around the world, and we're trying to, to build that network, but we're really focusing on the, the quality of our partnerships. We have 53 partnerships worldwide, and we're really looking at how we can lean in and create value for those partners, whether it's Google Mentors, Google Resources, and, and working with our offices around the world. Here are campuses, you can see Warsaw, yay. <laughs> no, nothing? Ah, thanks. Um, and we're really hoping to bring them in the network that we have of those, of those 25 uh, tech hubs and our 53 partners, so building that into the network. When we think about community programs, we work with some of the best partners, accelerator programs to um, really work with startups around the world. Seed Camp is our accelerator partner in Campus London. Um, Black Box, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, they run a two-week program in Silicon Valley where they bring startups from around the world to kind of network and mentor and really uh, work on pitches, everything you can kind of think of. And we have community programs that we work with. So Google for Entrepreneurs Week, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. I think we do a lot in Krakow and here, and um, we're actually going to be in 65 cities this year, so we're really excited for that. If you don't know about it, you should look it up and try to get involved. Um, we work with Startup Grind, it's a global partner of ours, and really that's how we're able to reach communities around the world um, through partners. Because we're a very small team, I don't know, <laughs> probably 10 people growing a little bit, but the way we reach communities around the world is through those partners, including Startup Weekend in over 129 countries, and that actually helps us expand our reach. Inclusive communities. So we'll kind of go through this fast. We really think that inclusive communities and diversity can be defined in many different ways in different markets. So, you know, really interested to hear from you guys what that means in Warsaw, because we try to build that into all of our programs and partnerships that we do around the world. Um, we have done a lot around women in the US. We did a 40 forward program where 40 of our partners came forward and said, you know, we're, we're ready to help you build and increase women participation in the tech startup scene. And we had some great numbers from that uh, program. On to campus. So <laughs> I think everyone has a lot of questions, so we'll try to get through this and see if you want to ask uh, anything that I don't cover in this, but hopefully we'll give you a good idea of what Google Campus is all about and our vision and really um, help you guys ask more questions and lead us in the right direction. What is campus? Campus is a place that Google is providing for entrepreneurs to learn, connect, and really build companies that are gonna change the world, right? It's all about thinking big, it's all about connecting, and it's all about creating that global network. So this is kind of the anatomy of a campus. And what we provide in campus, it's um, a standalone building. I don't know if you are familiar with Campus London. Uh, we have a standalone building in Campus London with seven floors. 
it includes an event space. We're hoping to have over 100, 150 um, people being able to attend events there in that space because we heard from you guys that that's something that is really not provided in the ecosystem here. Um, there is a co-working space, so we'll work with a co-working partner. Um, there's space for education, so accelerator programs. Um, there are community spaces and classrooms to run programs. We have Up Global sitting on Campus London that run their programs from um, campus and kind of coordinate activities there. Uh, and then there's a Google space, kind of Google Office. So that's kind of the anatomy of what we want. And the key thing here is Google is not coming to run an accelerator program. Google is not coming to compete with a local ecosystem. We're not going to run a co-working space. We're going to find partners that are already doing this work and work with you to really build campus and make it what Warsaw needs. Um, so why Poland? A lot of people ask why we picked the locations that we picked, um, Madrid, Warsaw, Seoul, Sao Paulo. And really it's about three things. So one is that there's a flourishing startup community and talented entrepreneurs. And from my conversation in the past three days, I felt so much energy from everyone, ideas, and really you know, people that have the pulse on what's going on. So we know there's a lot of density in Warsaw right now. Um, opportunity for startups to benefit from a global network. What I've heard from a lot of people is how can we bring more international investors, international startups to tell their story? How can we um, be connected to um, the network and help us scale and go global? And local Googlers, we have a great office um, of Googlers here that can help provide mentorship and have really been supporting the launch. So thank you guys, there's someone in the back over there. Um, we work with cross-functionally our teams to really get campus up and running. And so we're lucky to have a strong office that can not only help us get campus up and running, but really um, bring talented mentors. You can think of hiring, marketing, whatever we can provide for the startups that come to campus. What makes campus special? So. This is kind of what we think, and so we'd love to hear from you how you think that Warsaw is going to benefit from campus. Um, global connections for startups. We kind of went through that. We have a powerful global network that we talked about before of campus hubs around the world. So once all the new locations are open, we're going to have six locations um, around the world. And also our co-working space network, we talked about our tech hub network. We have 25 other spaces all around the world on other continents that hopefully um, campus uh, members can take advantage of. And we also have connections throughout campus. We have our global partner, Startup Grind and Startup Weekend. And Up Global is kind of the umbrella organization for Startup Weekend and Startup Next. So we really um, try to leverage that and take leaders from those organizations and have them speak at campuses and just tech hubs and really connect around the world. And so we're hoping to bring that to Warsaw's international connection from the partners that we have right now. We think um, international opportunities for Polish founders is really important. And so what we're trying to do, we're piloting a program at Campus London right now for Campus Exchange where startups that are members of our network can actually apply for, to attend Campus London and spend two weeks at Campus London mixed around with other startups from other countries and really benefit from sitting there and seeing how campus runs and, and the program and mentorship that we can provide. <coughs> And we talked about Black, uh, Black Box Connects before. And it's basically a two-week accelerator program from Silicon Valley. And we're hoping that our campus, the, the startups that sit at campus and our members and, and work through our partners can really apply for that program too and be, um, go through that application process and have an opportunity to spend two weeks in Silicon Valley getting that mentorship and those connections as well. So we're hoping there are a lot of kind of different ways right now that startups can get involved in the international scene and make connections. And we're hoping to pilot new programs in Campus Warsaw too. So excited to work with you guys on what might work and expand those uh, ideas. So here we have innovative new programs and educations to accelerate startups. And a lot of what we've heard from uh, ecosystem is kind of the need for more education focused on business and kind of help startups uh, scale, go global, and even just grow and find, find customers. Um, we provide a program right now called Campus EDU. And it's working with Googles, it's Googlers, sorry, that's what we call Googlers. We're working with um, <laughs> Google employees, we're working with universities to really put together programs that can help teach entrepreneurs on areas that they're really interested, whether it's recruiting, hiring, marketing, social media, user uh, experience, um, and really working with the local community to figure out what those programs are. Campus for Moms, I think we've run it in Krakow, um, started in Campus London, it was actually Campus for Mums, and um, we started in Madrid too. So it's actually a program that has moms that's baby friendly and mothers that are interested in starting a business have idea to, gen to kind of business plan and really help them come to a safe environment. It goes along with our kind of inclusive communities and trying to make sure everyone feels like the tech scene, startup scene is for them. 
and then mentoring from Googlers and industry leaders. So, so this is kind of the value that Google tries to bring to campus. Um, most of our events in campus, in Campus London, 70% are led by the community. Um, because at campus, all you have to do is apply online, and if it's a, a program or event that supports the, the startup ecosystem and it's open to the community, um, you can probably host it at campus, uh, if there's room in the schedule. But um, So that's kind of how we run campus. And so that's what Google tries to provide, is uh, some of the mentoring and office hours as part of that. And so we'll have Googlers come to the campus and set up office hours and work with you, work with startups to, to sign up and really dig into problems that, that you're having. And this is some of the successes that we've had at Campus London and Campus Tel Aviv. It's open in March. We've had over 70,000 participants at events, 274 startups at campus, 34 million raised, and 576 jobs. This was in 2013, so I'm really excited to see what the 2014 numbers are um, when they're ready. Campus Tel Aviv opened in December, um, hosted more than 900 events. Our poor programs and events managers at Tel Aviv, literally I think all they do is run around setting up events and hosting um, some of our partners. And 13 Launchpad Accelerator Cycles. I'm not sure if you've heard of Launchpad, but uh, we work really closely with our developer relations team that run this Launchpad program, and they're trying to scale it around the world, so it's a really great program that we try to offer at campuses too. So, um, I think we're at the Q&A section. And this is Google for Entrep you know, tweet, uh, tweeted us, and I think you can find me too, at uh, Jenna Mick, if you want to find me. Go to our website, check it out, see our partners, see where we're going, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, Jenna, for making it on time. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much. Um, I just have a question about um, who can apply to Google Campus and is there any filtering for candidates or some kind of a casting? So the way we work with campus is, is mostly through partners. So we'll have a co-working partner um, and an accelerator partner that will sit in campus and provide more of the permanent space. Um, and so they'll do their, the same program they always do, so their same business model, their application process, and run how they normally would. So you'll apply to the, um, in, tech hub, in, in London it's Tech Hub, that's our co-working space partner. So you apply to be part of that um, co-working space, and then you sit there. And I think they rotate every six months to try to bring in new startups to sit there. So that's kind of how it works on a, on a permanent basis. But in terms of members coming to campus, uh, anyone can apply to be a member. It's free. You just pull, apply online. It's very easy. And then when you come to campus, you can sit in the cafe, and hopefully uh, there's going to be a cafe that's a cool local cafe startup vibe. You can sit there. It's kind of like a second co-working space, and that space is free. So anyone can come to the ca cafe and work from there. And I think, you know, our campus manager in London, she says she spends half the day there um, just sitting, doing work, talking to people. So we're going to have a campus manager that's going to run the whole space, and hopefully they'll be accessible um, to you there. So you just kind of apply to be a member and then campus is open to everyone. And events are usually free and open, so hopefully if someone hosts an event there, everyone will come and really learn from each other. And we don't want just if there's a, a community that focuses on members, we're hoping that they'll open their events and their programs to the campus community as well. Um, do you plan to offer anything else than just uh, office space and with participation with your partners? to startups. You have like a program for startups where you offer something like 100K of... So we work with, um, in terms of, well, it's space that we basically provide our partners to kind of sit in campus and offer them space, but we work with our partners on a lot of different levels, and a lot of it's mentorship, Google value, Google resources um, on that front. And we work with our developer relations team, we work with our cloud team, so if we do have cloud credits and we have offers like that, we offer those to our network and to startups that are part of those partnerships. Um, there's also something we call the Tech Hub Passport Program that we just launched a few months ago. And so uh, any, any startup that sits in a tech hub that's part of our network, they can move around and if, as they travel, they can work from other tech hubs for free for three to five days. I mean, every tech hub will have their own kind of um, community guidelines on how that works. And if they opt in, then you can, you can do that. And we're hoping that campuses will be all be part of that network. So if you kind of sit in campus Warsaw and you head to Madrid, next time you're there, you can work from, from Madrid. So we're just hoping that Passport program can be an added value too for our partners. I don't know if anyone in the back has questions. 
Um, is every startup getting a mentor that then actually applies, gets to the community? Does every, every single startup get um, a mentor? Or is it also a filtering um, process on their side? Sure. So when the startup gets in, right? Um, is everyone, every single startup getting a mentor? You mentioned that there are people who are actually leading people or... It'll be more like office hours. So that kind of, so you sign up for office hours, so Googlers will come and you'll see, oh, there's someone that has marketing expertise that could really use a chance to talk to them. And you'll sign up for office hours. And I think, you know, as part of accelerator programs, hopefully they have mentors that come with that. Tech Hub Network has a lot of mentors that work with, with startups that sit in their co-working space. So I think we rely on our partners for a lot of this as well. And so you can imagine some local organizations here, uh, the same business model. But for Google, we try to do office hours and mentor programs at Campus EDU as a way to kind of get Googlers more involved in campus. Let's go to the back, sorry. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, did anyone ask? I just left for the low. Uh, what's in it for you? What's in it for Google? Why do you do it? Thank you. Great question. I usually try to answer that before, so sorry I didn't. Um, for Google, I think it's really a long-term play. Um, it's about building up communities around the world and think of innovation, competition, increasing that. And if you increase that, it's, I don't know if this translates, but it's the all boats rise concept. So if we work with communities and we create the next global startup out of campus Warsaw, amazing. And it's just kind of, that's our value and that's what we, that's what we are looking for in terms of success and value. And it sounds very kind of high level, um, but that's the truth, and it's and <laughs> it's kind of what we look for. Uh, can you say something more about this uh, program about connecting uh, startups around the world? Sure, I think that goes with our three main themes. It's one is diversity, inclusive communities. One is kind of increasing global connections. And, and the third is kind of network. And I know we talked about, a lot of people talk about networks. Um, and it's really important for us to make sure, like what is the value that we're providing our partners and, our, and the startups that are members of our partner organizations. And a key part of it is making sure that the network, everyone can learn from each other. And so it's a, we call it a passport program. So if you're a startup and you work at um, one of our partners that's in Boulder, Galvanize, you work at Galvanize and you head to Austin for the weekend, you can work from one of our partner spaces that's in Austin, Capital Factory, um, for free, uh, for three to five days, depending on whatever they opt in for. And so we're hoping to, to really expand that to all of our Tech Hub networks and campuses. Because um, network is actually a really important piece for us. Is that helpful? Does that answer your question? Gaina, you look confused. It's okay, we'll talk later. Um, do you know already like the location? Do you know when you're going to open up? And at what stage do you kick companies out? <laughs> kick companies out. Um, so we do not yet know or we can't yet reveal the location because everything isn't finalized yet. So once, once we have papers signed and we know exactly where it's going to be, we're excited to announce. Um, we're hoping that H1, the first half of 2015, probably more like spring, it'll open, but it just depends on design, construction, and, and kind of logistics from here on out. Um, kick anyone out. I don't know uh, what you mean. If, if you, we, sometimes we have community guidelines, and so if we do have startups or partners that actually violate those community guidelines, then yes, you'll be kicked out. Oh. Yeah, that's why we're having discussions with kind of the, the players now and, and all of you to really figure out what, what Campus Warsaw should look like and what size, what stage, what startup should sit there. And so it's kind of an ongoing conversation. We try to, I mean, once you get really big, it doesn't make sense just to have campus full of one company. Um, I don't think that really adds much value. But um, I think it's kind of a, an ongoing discussion. We'll work with partners and you guys to figure out what works best. Anyone from upstairs? I don't know how we do that. Great. Oh, oh. Uh, actually, a quick question. What if I'm not a startup yet, but I'm working on my idea and I have a business plan, so I'm looking more for motivation and as well like mentoring and support. Can I apply as well? Like hypothetically. Yeah. So 
So there's not really an application process to come to campus. It's free. You can just apply online to become a member. And hopefully you'll come sit in the cafe, talk to people, take part in events, take part in programs, and really get involved. Because what we see is people that come to campus and just stand there and wait for something to happen. It's not really going to work that way. So <laughs> you have to come in. You have to you know, talk to people in the cafe, really be part of events, do a startup weekend, kind of get involved. And I think that's where you're going to find people that you run into, just like Open Reactor have conversations, be like, oh, you're looking for this, I'm looking for this, and you make a match. So it's free, open for anyone, apply online to become a member. You can just come on in, hang out at the cafe. Oh, okay. And I don't know how long this goes. <laughs> I know, I, I'm between. Sorry, I'll, I'll try to be quick. <laughs> So I, I love the idea of the campus for mums, and actually this kind of ties into that answer as well. Um, I was wondering how much support are you going to give to, is it possible that I can uh, get more parents involved in my startup and they'll have that support as well? And following on from that, if um, as a parent I want to be involved in a lot of these events, will some of that child support be there for me as well? <laughs> Um, so I don't think it's built into the space to have kind of childcare or anything at campus, but we do try to do innovative programs and pilot programs. So if there's a need and there's kind of a um, really desire from the community to have something, we're really excited to try to pilot things and see if they work. And I think that's just kind of the, hopefully the vision of campus is to, if you guys need something and it's a community driven um, program, we're going to have a program manager that's really focused on that to try to deliver programs that give back to the community and provide what the community needs. So I don't think I can answer that question right now. Um, <laughs> but it is something, so if we want to make sure that anyone feels like they can be part of the community, and how can we make that happen? So. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna, for uh, joining us here at Open Reactor. I've heard the news that pizza is already there, so I guess you guys should run uh, to the garage. <laughs> it's really crowded, so I'm not sure how we're gonna make it, but you know, good luck and have fun networking.